Assalamu alaikum viewers, how are you? This is Ishan here. I am fine and hope that you are also fine. Today we will understand the password file syntax in Linux operating system. In this slide we will see slash etc slash shadow file, its formats, its content and its importance for Linux operating system. Uh, this shadow file is one of the crucial file system on the uh, in the uh, in the Linux operating system and counterpart of the slash etc slash password file as you know that the password file contains the user information and this uh, this is really the ambiguity for the new user or the uh, undergraduate student that this file has a name of shadow file but it contains the password file information but the other password file contains the uh, information regarding the users so we will study about today the shadow file which comes under the etc directory unlike password file shadow file is not wordly readable basically it is encrypted file so it can be read only by the root user shadow file permissions are for example 400 that mean r dash 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 and ownership is root colon root means it can be only read and by root user only reason for such secure uh, such thing is that security of the password relation information is very important for uh, the user a uh, typical shadow file looks like this username encrypted password last password change minimum days maximum days warn days inactive days and expiry so we will go to our Linux operating system and uh, study the password file information. So, first of all, I will uh, 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 I will show you the syntax of this password file. For example, this is the password file. This is username. This is encrypted password, and this password file uh, is separated by the colon. As you can see, that this is the colon between these uh, different values. This is the username, this is the password which is in encrypted form and only read by the root user. And this is the last password chain. For example, last password chain, for example, if I have changed my password on 1st January 1970, that password was last changed. For example, this is the 170 days, 178 days that I have. Uh, change my password or set my password about 178 days ago and you can easily add or subtract these days uh, by going into the script file in the Linux operating system it is the minimum days value no minimum days has been set for the password change so you don't have to need uh, you don't have need to change your password it is the maximum number of days that after these days you uh, your password will, will be invalid once this period is exhausted user is forced to change his or her password this value can be altered using change command it is generally set to 30s date but value differs as per your security demand so i have set its value about 99999 penta 9 so I don't need to change this value and the warn days is uh, it's a number of days before password expiry for example if your password expiry is coming uh, near then you can uh, set this date about seven days that uh, seven days before you will be warned that you should change your password as you have uh, known the, in the windows server that your password changing uh, sent uh, your password changing days warned days will be shown in the windows also it's a number of days before password expiry user will start seeing warning about his password expiration after login generally it is set to 7 but it's up to you or your organization to decide this value as per organizational security policies and other uh, factors are also involved this in this password example for example inactive days 
Inactive days are just like the uh, last password change. Number of days after password expiry, account will be disabled. Means if user don't log in to system after his or her password expiry, so he doesn't change the password. Then after these many days, account will be disabled. Expiry. Its number of days. For example, since first January nineteen seventy, account is disabled. Calculations were already seen in the last password change. For example, one seventy eight days. These are the calculation, and this expiry relates to the last password change. That one seventy days ago, this password had been changed. So you, uh, this is the same syntax. Uh, calculation were already seen in last password password change, and this is very notable that except first two fields, for example, username and encrypted password, rest of all fields are related to password aging or period. So this was the syntax of the password file. Now we will go to our Linux operating system and lively I will show you the password file in the Linux operating system. So I am going to show you the shadow file or password file in etc directory. <coughs> This is the shadow file. We will open it. As you can see that this is the password file or shadow file. And you can see that this is the username then this is his encrypted password and this is the last password change and this value can be changed also. This is the minimum days expiry and I, I haven't set any minimum days expiry and maximum days that you can use this password up to these penta 9 days and this is the 7 days warned that if your expiry is coming uh, uh, then before 7 days you will warn, warn that you should change your password. So this was the syntax of the password or shadow file in the Linux operating system. These are different users Zen, Z1, Michael. Zishan, Rab, Taha, Faz, and these are all the users of this uh, file. So, thank you very much, guys. I have taught you about different operating systems, and it was very crucial that I wanted to teach you about the shadow file. What is the shadow file? What is the password? And what is the syntax of the shadow file? So you you should understand this shadow file and this is very important for your interview questions also because uh, in the interview of linux operating system uh, the examiner or interviewer will ask you about the password file uh, information or password uh, file syntax so in the last uh, few days I uh, I had a call from different friends that what is the syntax of password file because interview wanted to ask some uh, uh, syntax about the password file so it is a crucial inf information and I have taught you about the syntax about the password information file so once again read this slide that this is the syntax of the password information files username encrypted password last password change and this is example this is a username this is the encrypted password and these all fields are uh, separated by colon and these are the warned days seven days before you will be warned and these are inactive days and this is the value of minimum days that no value is being set for minimum days password chain and the password was changed about 170 days ago and the, this is the maximum days for password expiry so thank you very much guys Thank you and before going to end this uh, uh, slide I want to uh, uh, request you that to subscribe my channel technique training like and share my videos and don't forget to press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you very much guys. Allah Hafiz.